State Sequencer. State Sequencer can be enabled using this button. Let me press the tick mark. The State Sequencer has the ability to run 16 states as seen here. Each state has the capability to configure from 5 milliseconds to 35 minutes in steps of 1 millisecond. In each state, the magnitude, phase and frequency of the current and voltage can be set independently. This is similar to what we saw in the basic screen configuration. The status of the binary output in each state can be configured by pressing this button. The binary input in each state can be configured by pressing this button. The configuration remains similar to what we have seen on the base screen. The state sequencer can be terminated if this button is enabled. And the corresponding binary input condition is satisfied. However, if this button is disabled, and if the binary input condition is satisfied, then the next state will be continued. The end sequence button will be used to terminate the state sequencer. It can be called as the last state. The binary input can be configured as potential free with potential for the voltage threshold and a hysteresis by pressing this button. The state can be copied and pasted by either insertion or deleting the existing state by pressing on this button. We can copy, move to the next state, and you can insert or overwrite the existing state. The states can also be renamed as per the requirement of the test by pressing this button. The report will be saved with the total time and also the individual time of each state with indication on the trip condition.